Morning Prayer for Monday the 12th of April Taken from Time to Pray Published by the Church of England O God, make speed to save us O Lord, make haste to help us If I climb up to heaven, you are there If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. Yesterday I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with him. Today I am waking with him from the sleep of death. The psalm today is Psalm 2. Why are the nations in turmoil? And why do the peoples devise a vain plot? The kings of the earth rise up, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. He who dwells in heaven shall laugh them to scorn. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, the ends of the earth for your possessions. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's wheel. Now therefore be wise, O kings, be prudent, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and with trembling kiss his feet lest he be angry and you perish from the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are all they who take refuge in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verses 3 to 18. In the fortieth year, on the first day of the eleventh month, Moses spoke to the Israelites just as the Lord had commanded him to speak to them. This was after he had defeated King Shion of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, and King Og of Basham, who reigned in Ashthuch and in Irid. Beyond the Jordan, in the land of Moab, Moses undertook to expound his law as follows. The Lord our God spoke to us at Hebron, saying, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Resume your journey and go into the hill country of the Amorites, as well as into the neighbouring regions, the Aharab, the hill country, the Seharalath, the Negeb and the east and the south coast sea. The land of the Canaanites and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that I swore to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob, and give to them to give to them and to their descendants after them. At that time I said to you, I am able to bear myself to bear you. The Lord your God has multiplied you, so that today you are as numerous as the stars of heaven. May the Lord, the God of our ancestors, increase you thou- a thousand times more and bless you as he promised you. But how can I bear the heavy burden of your disputes all by myself? 
Choose for each of your tribes individuals who are wise, discerning and reputable to be your leaders. You answered me, the plan you have proposed is a good one. So I took the leaders of the tribes, wise and reputable individuals, and installed them as leaders over you, commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens, and officials throughout your tribes. I charged your judges at that time, give the members of your community a fair hearing and judge rightly between one person and another, whether citizen or resident alien. You must not be partial in judging. Hear out the small and the great alike. You should not you shall not be intimidated by anyone, for the judgment is God's. Any case that is too hard for you, bring to me and I will hear it hear it. So I charged you at that time with all the things that you should do. A reading from John chapter 20 verses 1 to 10. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Madeline came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they had not understood the scripture, that he must first rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. We pray for the people of God, that they may proclaim the risen Lord. We pray for God's creation and for us, the peoples of the earth, that we may meet our responsibility to care. We pray for those in despair and darkness, that they may find the hope and light of Christ. We 
we pray, pray for those in fear of death, that they may find faith through the resurrection. And the collect for today. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. Alleluia. Amen.